Hi, this is the BMW N62 engine. This is a V8. I'm going to demonstrate the timing. I'm going to do both sides together, although I will start on the bank one and then I will set this up. Then I will go to bank two, but ultimately you are timing both banks at the same time. Right, the very first step is to get the camshafts in alignment. There are some crevices there. They must be basically 45 degrees and then there are two indentations there and that should also be at 45 degrees so all i'm going to do is i'm going to align those two camshafts now you can take a shifting spanner and you just want to get it like that please note when aligning this do not force anything if you're finding that it's a bit stuck you'll need to get the uh, engine to top dead center so don't force anything when you put the camshafts back, you should have already put it back in this alignment. You can see those two points there and that over there. That is how you should have put it back. You'll only be doing minor adjustments here. Make sure a special tool is now fitted. Now, in this case, you can see the guide is not there. I prefer to do the uh, setting with this guide on. And you will need to put the alignment screw through that hole. So do not put the screw in that hole yet. This is a size 10. Just wiggle this until it finds its seat. Now you start with this adjustment gear. You can see this one is for the vacuum pump. This is a size 16. Right, once it's tight, just slacken it off a bit. You don't want this to be tight. You want it to have free play just like that. So you see you can move without the camshaft moving. Now I'm going to fit the inlet adjustment gear, timing gear, there we go. And if you're finding that it's too difficult to get on, just release the tension over there. You can see there's the tensioner and you can see that I can depress this like that. So I can get some free play there, as you can see. All right, tighten and slacken off. Right, now it's time to do bank two. Remember that when you've put your camshafts in, you would have put them in while it's at top dead center. And you can see there's a marking there and there are those lines there. I can just move this a little bit, a little bit out of alignment. Uh, it is spring loaded, so it'll just have to stay like that. Right, so I'm gonna start with the inlet. Right, I just returned the guide there and I'll put the exhaust timing adjuster gear on. If you're finding that you can't get it in, just depress the tensioner over there. Right, and I now need to fit this special tool. You'll see there's a flat side there and there. That must mate and be flush with the head over here. And you can see that it can't quite get in the camshaft slightly out of alignment so all i'm going to do is i'm going to take my uh, shifting spanner and on the hexagonal head you can see over there i'm just going to turn it slightly all right so i've got my shifting spanner and i've just turned this slightly and now this should be able to seat nicely almost and there it is now i just take the adjustment screw make that quite tight and you can see that that's flush that is flush i just give it a bit of a tap and now you can tighten this to 20 newton meters that's it now i release this one and now i follow the same procedure but now with the exhaust Twenty newton meters. Now follow the same procedure on the bank two. Start at the inlet.
Right, so both sides are effectively timed now. Right, now the next step is to remove the special tool. So this has been taken out now and you need to crank the engine two times. If you've got cloths and things like that blocking the opening here, just remove it at this point. Right, I've cranked it twice. You now want to reinsert your special tool. Now you want to put your alignment templates back here and just check that it is still in alignment. Now it's okay if there's a 0.5 millimeter gap between the face there and that face, but as you can see uh, on both sides, top and bottom, it's completely flush. Right, perfect. Flush on the top and on the bottom. That side is fine. And now you want to do that on bank two as well. Perfect. Perfect. Now remove your special tool. Now you want to do your final adjustment. Make sure you put your shifting spanner on the hexagonal head. And this gets tightened to 80 Newton meters. Do not use this as your tightening plate. Use the shifting spanner. At this point, if you wanted to, you could put your special tool back and make a final check just to make sure there was no movement while tightening. If you're finding that you could not crank your engine, it, maybe it was too tight, maybe it felt like it was getting stuck, just put some oil in the cylinders. So all you do is you open up the spark plug and put a few mils, maybe two mils, and squirt it into the chamber there by the spark plug. You'll have to do it eight times. Remember that do not force anything, because if you have not put these camshafts back correctly, you can run the risk of bending a valve. All right, thanks for watching and cheers.